Volunteers from Helping Hands, along with 66 Uber Eats drivers, have signed up to help deliver these food packages today. And they're going to be helping over 100 families here in Hawthorne that are a part of the Dodgers RBI Virtual Baseball League. What is so important this holiday season is that the children of Hawthorne get out of the house and still feel a sense of holiday cheer here from their community. Brian's journey continues at Sunburst Youth Academy and he has learned how to accept life's challenges and turn them into valuable life lessons. Due to Brian's success, City Attorney Robert Kim has agreed to continue working with Officer Shelley Yoshida and Sergeant Scott Nichols on helping at-risk youth the same way Brian was helped. Through what is known as an Office Hearing Diversion Program, Hawthorne PD will have the opportunity to present Sunburst as an option to at-risk youth to get their records expunged. If successful, City Attorney Robert Kim says that this will eliminate repeat offenders and cut their caseload down by the hundreds. Reporting for Hawthorne Profiles, I'm Danny Miskell. Due to the increased number of COVID-19 cases, City Hall's reopening to the public has been delayed for at least two more weeks. Please continue to watch HCTV to stay up to date on all city property reopening plans. Prop 68 provides state funding for parks like Zella Davis Park. There isn't a lot of park space around this area. Uh, it's, it's very dense. There's a lot of apartment buildings, little access to recreational spaces. And so when we talk to the city about this, we're like, this is like, it's like a slam dunk. As you can see, there is so much open real estate out here that hasn't been maximized yet. With the grants from the state, Zella Davis Park will have new playground areas and fitness equipment and restrooms installed, all of which the community will benefit from. This is the second attempt to secure funding for the park. The state was looking for more community engagement before approving the application. Well, all parks are good for the community. It's, it's, it's a place for people to gather and to, uh, to, to rec recreate. Uh, there's, there's really nothing here at this, at this point in time except for a little playground. Grace Benitez lives across the street and brings her siblings here often to play. She proposed an idea to make sure the park stays safe for the kids. The fencing and the closing period, like when they will open, when they will close, would be a very good, um, very good thing to do with the park. The renovations will also include the installation of water fountains and basketball courts which will serve a range of age groups, especially since there are two elementary schools adjacent to the park. Look at the narrative, look at the need, and look at the City of Hawthorne as being a flagship for the state on how to rebuild your recreation system to have the community enjoy. The City of Hawthorne will be submitting their second application to the state for Zella Davis Park in March of 2021. Reporting for HCTV, I'm Danny Miskell.